Alright, here we go. KSYM, I'm San Antonio College Radio. This is the Urban Suite D Major. Cheryl Meadow, come see in studio with us. Ooh, ooh. So, you said you 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 were in Japan when you kind of learned what I learned. working in the studio was tr truly like. The struggle buying equipment. Yeah, I, I came from Louisiana to Texas, confused all the way completely. Uh, and then they sent me to Japan, and I'm like, oh my God. Now, I had trouble interpreting myself in Texas. Imagine me over here talking to these people. <laughs> I ain't have a sponsor. I got. I had to navigate by people I just seen that looked like they was going the direction I was going, and uh -huh. I made it. And then I got there, the door opened up on its own. Wow. Um, talking about paranoid. I would jump to the other side. Mm -hmm. And he was like, no, just get out. No. He's like, the door just opened on its own. I was like, that's dope. But it was like the countryside, though, which yeah. was cool. Uh, so I got to kind of see like, the slow side of it. The, the the cherry blossoms and it's like a it's actually something dope to actually look at like they having a, a festival like they have fun mm -hmm. uh, like these festivals but I learned a lot trying to get equipment because when we did like the fan cast thing or whatever they like I was I got over there and I was like I want to still do music with y'all but I don't know how to find a studio yeah. so getting to this place to find it then you understand in the end don't match up with this American dollar then like, <laughs> <laughs> like three hundred dollars for your headphones and he, when Amazon, you know, for Amazon was good, so it was yeah, like yeah. a struggle. But uh, David's uh, David's brother, which is anonymous, his brother Adam Keith, okay. uh, he ended up helping me because uh, I was recording, and I was I thought the beat got high, you got high, the beat got lower, quiet down, uh, and that's how you made it work, and you just kind of wing it. Then he was like plugins, he's like remoted in my computer, start putting in plugins. Like, what is he doing? Sorcery type of thing. Uh, <laughs> but he was like, no, you do this one, and that's how you kind of get it. You don't have to do this one. I was like, oh, so Pro Tools for Dummies. I bought that book because I was like, I need to figure something out. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was like one of the best things because I don't know how to, YouTube wasn't that, but I learned like, okay, trial and error mainly. Yeah. Uh, but then it was like, okay, you develop like an ear with it, kind of like, okay, this is what you're here and start pitching out. So a lot of stuff mm -hmm. I used to, ooh, Jesus. Then now, this is okay, I, I progressed. Well, but it was a struggle. And my little brother, she was up here because he he was in that with me. We had a computer mm -hmm. that wouldn't stay on. <laughs> so every time I load up a program and get ready to load up the template, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, so it gave us more time to drink. So we started drinking and then we just wait. And then we just start then we just start doing freestyles all night until it died on us. And then and but it, it just it caused like I didn't I, I was trying to learn it but I had equipment. So you had to get something better. So that's why I was like, Oh my god, it's getting expensive. So I learned that part, but then it helps you with the uh, the tweaks and uh, the engineering later. So yeah, it, it was a struggle. But I, I mean, I made it work. Kind of. People start coming to my house like it was somewhere to like somewhere to do. Like, hey, you got a nice set? Nah, yeah. ain't like that. Like, come over. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm anti-social, but it was a uh, but a shout out to him because uh, we actually did a mixtape there, which I ended up getting better with performing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I was kind of solo because I was like I didn't really know everybody, so it was just me. So without being with them, I was like, oh lord, and I gotta come up with two verses, three verses, and. Uh, I gotta come up with a stage set. I gotta make sure I get this is right. And I'm yeah. like, oh, Jesus, this is too much. But it, it helped me appreciate uh, anybody who takes the time to do it. Uh, and then performing, just I love it. In Japan, like I don't know if they hear me, hear me. They understand, understand. But yeah, we rocking tonight. And then I, I, I learned, I perfected it, taking my shirt off. Then like, I, I thought I was something. I swear for the Lord, I thought I was something back then. But I, I learned a lot. And, uh, I understood like what what the what you can bring with it. And mm -hmm. Thank God, I got to come back and touch base with him and, and prepped him. You read him? I'm coming back for thirty days. <laughs> I'm working all thirty. Days. Yeah, Japan was lovely though. Yeah, I miss yeah. it. I go back. Did you just like North Dakota earlier? Really? <sighs> Get down. Mm -hmm. Grand no Grand no. Grand Fort Grand, Grand Fort. Yeah. Yeah. And they sent me even further north. They they sent me an hour away from Canada. So not only. Cause I ain't had no kids up there with me. I'm a single parent and mm -hmm. a staff sergeant, so we need somebody to work up here permanently. And calves. Now I'm up there four days. Why am I paying an apartment? So I got an apartment over there just sitting there. But so it was. That's why I was like, it's time for me to go. And then I seen somebody like take their life up there. Uh, we're not seeing it, but he was, he was. When I first got deployed from Randolph, he was in North Dakota. Yeah. When I got there in 2010, he's still there. Mm -hmm. This time with no rain. And. No and rain, I, no but it rain. was it was a whole whirlwind of stuff. But to 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 understand how comfortable you are around everybody, and, mm -hmm. and he was a cop like everybody else. So if you leave your gun the way you leave your gun, but obviously you don't know this. And he, 
yeah. to the point, and it just happened. I was like, that is why. I said, it won't get me like this. Mm -hmm. I, and it was it was something that happened around that time, too, but I was like, I don't know who to talk to. Yeah. And it was like, it was weird. And I was like, you know what, just let me go. Like, just let me go. I'd rather just get out and get my life together and figure out, because this other stuff is a little different. Mm -hmm. I, ain't, I ain't built for it the whole way. I tried. I, I yeah. gave my game, gave, gave good 10 and a half. Yeah. Nine, nine and a half. Right. Well, no. But it's been pointing in my mind, yeah. pointing in my mind every day, <laughs> every day. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm I'm thankful for to meet the people. And again, I don't think I'd be rapping if it was even for even joining the military. Word. I was I was a, I was the opposite of what a rapper was supposed to do. I'm a cop. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a cop. <laughs> I'm a cop. Military. And, and Japan military. was the worst military. time because we used to go town patrol with mm -hmm. the wing commanders. So mm -hmm. sometimes I'm with them. Sometimes I'm hiding in the club because <laughs> you can't wear earrings out there. I'm like, ah, oh, what is this, man? I'm off base. So it, it was a different vibe, but I yeah. was like, oh, I, I missed it. But I, I was a cop, so it was like, I want to do it, but it's kind of like, come on, man. Now it's Rick Ross in it before Rick Ross in it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I should have. That case, it worked for him, but yeah. Yeah, it didn't. He did blow up. Yeah, yeah but, but the, yeah. That, that's why I was kind of a little awkward. Still to this day, a little bit, cause, but I like, I don't really have a problem with cops, though. Yeah. Stay out of their way. <laughs> stay, on my, stay out of mine. But yeah, it was at that time, but I knew everybody perceived criminals, I guess you would say. They'd be more <laughs> the illegal type of stuff or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but it's like the normal, I think, when the military kind of puts you, because choir practice, I never heard it a day in my life until I joined the military. Mm -hmm. Who drinks at five o'clock in the morning? Military, yeah, military, yeah, military. And I'm five o'clock somewhere, and I was like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's a it's a gang of stuff. But I like I wouldn't trade it, but I learned a lot. Oh, like, I stayed in the barracks and both of them wake up with a force. Mm. Yeah. 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 Especially those that work overnight. I know, you know a few just getting off at six o'clock. Don't morning. give me excuses. That's Don't stay, give Four thirty. That's the five o'clock. No, I'm talking about brothers who I was in the motor pool with me at, at Fort uh, Hood. <laughs> oh, oh. They would literally wake up on a Saturday at eight o'clock. Sing eyes right there. I'm oh, my best driver. I just didn't do it. You know <laughs> no, don't drink and drive. Yeah, no. first don't thing drink and drive. Yeah. First thing. Especially not tonight. Don't drink and drive. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Don't function in alcohol. Don't sleep. Yeah. Believe me, I was a barrack bear, right the whole time up there, so I know. It was some West Coast somebody. Man. Different realm of life. True that. True that. But we made it. Yep. We here. We made it. And we're playing music. And, and indeed. happy to you know, indeed. thank y'all for y'all service too man. oh thank you yeah, yeah absolutely um we're about to get into this uh mix from uh dj mercury he took a whole bunch of uh classic funk and soul records mm. i'm gonna play 33 and a third mm. sped him with the 45 mm. he had fun with it <laughs> <laughs> we getting ready to see how how fun how much fun he had. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Hey y'all, uh, stay tuned. We got more with Comp C and everyone here, but we're about to go deep in the trenches with DJ Mercury with this uh, dope thirty three at forty five mix. About to get started with that. Hey y'all, stay tuned. More coming up. This is Urban Sweet KSYM San Antonio College Radio. Mm -hmm. 